सदाशिवसमारंभा शंकराचार्यमध्यमा अस्मदाचार्यपर्यता वंदे गुरुपरंपरा I welcome you all with my love and respects. Before entering into today's satsang, one or two feedbacks on Samyama yesterday's. Samyama sadhana, the practice of Samyama, which I initiated. I'll take up only two, three and comment. Hundreds of feedbacks are there. I'll take few samples and comment on it. This is from Oman Yen Satsang Center. Sri Nitya Sri Priyan, beloved Swamiji, eternal thanks for another blessing of Samyama. By your grace, today I was on my second attempt on Samyama. After the first, during the process under Swamiji's presence in IA December 2012, stick moved well in left, right, down in all directions on request. <laughs> Good. and here is another one funny very funny feedback from satish there is no center name it's satish pranam swami ji as per your instruction i immediately tried the samyama with the druva grass and after some time with your blessings i was able to turn a 2 inch piece of druva grass 360 degrees by my will but i had some doubt thinking that maybe my breath contributed to it mind comes here so the next morning after a dose of n kriya i tried it again under very controlled conditions making sure that not even my breath would disturb the grass i could not do it maybe because i was in a hurry then i remembered that recently you mentioned that prana flows through the hand so i tried sending through pra sending prana through my hand and oh lo and behold i was able to tan the grass again as i want <laughs> my daughter was witness to that satish you don't need to send a witness i can be a witness <laughs> it's a beautiful thing to please understand in this whole process you need to understand two things one first you are able to move the grass 360 degree as you want out of your will those moments you had a strong trust on me and my words but the moment doubt entered maybe the air breath breeze or fluke the devil demon has entered in your system so the demon was responsible for you not able to move second time and the restlessness which is created by the demon of course again third time you are with a strong trust on my words through hands the prana can be sent the next samyama work done you satish you tried one more samyama on your own it's good it is actually good and just because of the trust you tried the next samyama and automatically it worked so my blessings the lesson which you need to learn from this experience is put more energy on the apta pramana and shastra pramana so that it can become atma pramana in you instead of wasting your brain in french fries and french philosophies don't waste your body with french fries don't waste your mind with french philosophies 
or I can say fried philosophies. As of now, in 734 places, 204 cities, 25 countries, people are sitting with us. I welcome all of you with my love and respect. And people are experiencing intense levitation everywhere. I can see. Samyama. Technique to rewire your brain. Today's subject. Tasya Bhumishu Viniyoga. 112th Sutra in Padanjali Yoga Sutra. The third chapter, sixth verse. Tasya Bhumishu Viniyoga. Swami Vivekananda translates the sutra as that samyama should be practiced in stages. Swami Prabhavananda translates as it must be applied stage by stage. Swami Sachidananda translates as its practice is to be accomplished in stages. Osho translates as Samyama is to be employed in stages. I will translate based on my own experience this sutra as Samyama has to be practiced applied in progression I do not want to use the word stages no stage by stage no it has to be applied in progression please understand it means there is a big difference between stage by stage and progression Stage by stage means it's like a you are supposed to achieve something stage by stage, step by step. No. I wanted to tell you all Samyama is like taking out something which you already have in your treasury box, treasure vault, wallet taking it out in progression it means see please understand if you translate that very word that one word boom issue viniyoga this is a technical term the sacred secret is hidden in these two words boom issue viniyoga if you translate and understand that word as stage by stage, you get a feeling it's like you need to achieve something. No. Even if you think you are body and mind, please understand you don't need to achieve anything. There is already enough treasures in your world in your treasure, treasury box, in your inner space, you only need to take them out in progression. Stage is different, progression is different. So technically I will translate this word, 
భూమిషు వినియోగ యాజ్ ప్రోగ్రెషన్ దెన్ స్టేజ్ బై స్టేజ్ ఐ వాంటెడ్ ఆల్ ఆఫ్ యూ టు నో ద గ్రేట్ సిస్టమ్ ఆఫ్ యోగ వేదాంత మీన్స్ కాంబినేషన్ ఆఫ్ యోగా ఫిలాసఫీ అండ్ వేదాంత ఫిలాసఫీ ఎవ్రీథింగ్ ఈస్ ఎయిమ్డ్ కంటిన్యూస్లీ టు రిమైండ్ యూ ద ఆరిజినల్ space of all knowing all pervading always blissful in you please understand many of the western religions aims at constantly reminding you about the original sin but the eastern religions especially the yoga vedanta sampradaya constantly works to remind you about your original graceful all knowing all fulfilled always blissful state even your master is supposed to remind that state which you are having in you constantly to you that is why in yoga vedantic tradition even god is just a stepping stone for enlightenment please understand god is not ultimate in yoga vedantic tradition god is a stepping stone for enlightenment god is a concept used for you to experience godliness the ultimate possibility for every human being in spiritual field is thrown open only in vedic tradition because everything is a technique for you to experience the highest there is no definitive higher or superior power over you even the concept of god is for you to experience godliness the moment you translate the word stage by stage it gives the feeling like you need to achieve something no you don't need to take the responsibility to only get something out of your treasury you don't need to earn as long as you have the idea you need to achieve you always feel there is somebody who is having it somebody who is possessing it you need to take it away from that person tribal mentality it is okay for religions in a very primitive state but not for sophisticated evolved luxurious people like ganges civilization if you are stuck in some desert are the useless forest living as a tribal in a very primitive way your mentality can go only up to the level there are some powers with somebody you need to receive it from them or take it from them because the whole psyche of primitive people 
is somebody possessing something either you receive from them or take it from them it is completely based on possessiveness but the religion of vedic civilization has grown in the rich ganges plateau banks of the ganges again in the mines which is enriched by the freedom and luxury of all the time and energy is available for their highest honest research and development so here is a religion which is grown in a inner space which is not primitive which is not possessiveness based understand the vast difference between translating this boom issue vinyoga as stage by stage or progression a big difference if you translate that as a stage by stage still you are stuck with the primitive mentality of religion somebody is having you need to take it root cause of all depression progression means you have it your body and mind need to take that out from your inner space super consciousness all you need is training your body and mind step by step to take those things out why the word progression step by step because if you if your body and mind tries to take everything out all the powers out at a time it may not be able to stay in a balanced way and express those powers it may just get burnt away i have seen sometime people boiling themselves in depression burning themselves into negativity same way sometime people can boil themselves even with extraordinary powers if their body and mind is not matured enough to handle these extraordinary powers they may just play with these powers in a foolish way and disturb and damage cause too much damage to people ramakrishna tells a beautiful story one sadhu somehow retrieved the power of stopping the air movement from his inner space but unfortunately his body and mind was not matured and he did not do it in progression 
just got the power. So only there was a intense cyclone. Many boats were getting rocked, disturbed in the river. Out of his power, just like that he stopped that cyclone. Because of the sudden stop, many boats tumbled, overturned. And many people got drowned and died. And that karma came to him. The power which he had left him. Sometime, when the body and mind is not matured enough, and the powers are expressed in your body and mind, it's very dangerous. It is very dangerous. An important thing you need to learn the meaning of the word Bhumi Shivini Yoga progression means properly your body and mind need to take those extraordinary powers out of your system through proper Samyama this can happen only if you are part of a mystery school only you are with an enlightened being, an incarnation who clearly balances and guides you and makes that samyama happen in your body and mind. I have seen. Sometimes the masters do something extraordinary to balance people and make these extraordinary powers express through the body and mind. I have read once Vivekananda even making one of his disciples to eat fish. You may think how fish is going to help in yoga. That guy, a disciple, acquired some extraordinary powers without going through the proper progression. So it may not be right for his body and mind. <laughs> Dangerous. So Vivekananda immediately says, eat fish, that power should go away. Let the body and mind be prepared, then the powers can express in progression. Immediately the disciple ate the fish and the powers left. And it was good for the individual. So you need to understand only in the mystery school under the guidance of the master safely blissfully these powers can be brought out to your body and mind. You can rejoice, cherish and enjoy these extraordinary powers I am seeing thousands of people experiencing levitating all over the world. Not a single one had any side effect, wrong side effect. Thousands of people's Kundalini is getting awakened every day all over the world. Not a single one is having negative side effect. Such an intense process where people are literally blown away But no side effect. It is because it is done in progression. It is done in progression. Properly. Beautifully. With honesty and integrity towards the spiritual experience. The spiritual truth. I heard a message from a devotee, or a, I don't know, he's not, you can't even call as a devotee, somebody was attending satsang 
yesterday it seems he was complaining that i was attacking some particular guru yesterday i was not, please i want to make it very clear i never attack anybody and i was not attacking any particular guru i was only defending the hindu dharma all the gurus who claim they are hindus who belong to vedic civilization like sai baba kalki bhagavan bangaradigalar all these religious leaders if some of these idiot so called secular gurus go on abusing them there is nobody to defend them i am going to defend i am going to defend my religious leaders that's all if somebody claims they are secular get out of hinduism you have no right to criticize hindu gurus And that fellow wrote an email saying that I was criticizing particular guru. Actually, I was not even criticizing that particular guru. In my mind, I had somebody else. First thing, you are mistaken. Second thing, you are mistaken. First, I was not criticizing anybody. I was telling, stop criticizing my religious leaders. who are bold honest enough to associate themselves with their authentic tradition which they are present and not hypocritical idiots who steal all the knowledge and wealth and spirituality from the hindu vedic tradition and disconnect themselves saying they are secular gurus non religious organization idiots i am dead against mixing religion in politics and politics in religion if you are secular get out and get into politics that's a place to talk secularism if you are running a spiritual organization be honest to your guru be truthful to your religion be honest to your spiritual tradition i am not saying one religion is higher or one religion is lower same way i am not saying all religions are same no all religions are unique and sacred to their practitioners so there is no such thing as secularism in spiritual line in spiritual field so understand i was not criticizing anybody i was defending the fools who are criticizing my religious leaders and the guy who wrote the email if you are offended nothing can be done you are free to get offended and hit your face wherever you want and do what you want people need to understand when the truth is told as it is and here i am talking to all of you every day to teach you the truth not to be politically polite socially polite the exact intense honest truth i am standing by the honesty and integrity and exact truth so please understand it's time we start right things at right time if you don't understand the difference between political religions 
and religious politics you will be continuously caught with pseudo gurus you will not be able to experience the honest truth so here i am if you are interested in honest truth and experiencing mystery school i am not interested in nobel prize i am not going to be socially polite or politically polite i am interested in making few th- few lakh enlightened beings people are interested in nobel prize let them maintain their political religious ambitions i am very clear my life is going to be creating mystery schools around the world vedic universities around the world i am starting satsang centers padaga mandirs around the world with the aim of converting them into universities mystery schools <laughs> vedic universities so i am making it very clear i am not interested in people who are politically polite or socially polite who are playing this cunning game of politics and religion and religion in politics no let them play their game i am not interested in that and i am not even against them playing the game all i am saying is don't interfere in our field allow little bit of pure spiritual stream to be alive in the planet earth for heaven's sake at least like you few idiots can come in the next generations and eat my eat the stuff which i created and live these politicians who entered in religious field are not only destroying the religion and trying to destroy the pure spiritual streams being kept alive authentic spiritual streams kept alive because they are loud mouth and they have a pure PR, big pr agencies these guys go on trying to destroy the ancient mystery science by saying don't go to people who materialize don't go to people who heal don't go to people who give boons what do they mean this is the pure mysticism the yoga vedanta sampradaya so these are juice and essence of yoga vedanta tradition it should be kept alive it will be kept alive for oh, planet earth don't worry i'll keep this science alive <laughs> let this name and fame mongers nobel peace prize mongers do their job of mixing politically polite religions here i am going to maintain the honesty and integrity and purity of the mystery school and i'll see that at least million people not only become enlightened experience the great experiences and expressions of samyama <laughs> experience the great experiences and powers of samyama please understand in samyama i am always saying two part one experiencing the great experiences and powers and expressing it for example at this moment i am in a great experience that all the so called reality in front of me is made of a stuff which i can bend break mend do as i want this is experience if i do at least small changes and things and show it in reality physically either through simple levitation or through simple teleporting of the vibhuti it is expression of the power please understand 
as experience at this moment i am feeling anything in front of me is made out of stuff which is completely under my control part of me this is my experience when i share this word if i ignite this mood in many of you i am expressing the experience same way this experience brings certain powers like any body can be moved as i want any body's kundalini can be raised to the same level i am in or any material can be moved from one place to another place by the power of the mind this is extraordinary powers first one is extraordinary experience second one is extraordinary power so if this is shown visibly as the kundalini awakening or the levitation or teleporting it is expressing extraordinary powers i wanted both dimensions of samyama to be kept alive but some religions are not interested in the second dimension the power dimension of samyama to be kept alive because it will be a solid proof for the vedic tradition yogic tradition which is not good for their vested interests so they go on promoting the religious leaders or spiritual leaders who neither have these extraordinary powers nor able to show these extraordinary powers nor able to know the technology of these extraordinary powers naturally they also do the same logic in the kindergarten schools in india they will teach a story there was a grape garden and one fox went to that garden he tried 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 but he was not able to catch that grape then he started telling oh this grape is sour abused the grape for 10 minutes and went away the same thing the pseudo gurus come on let you do and show it is not spirituality then i'll agree you have at least right to tell whether it is a spirituality or not it's not that i'll agree your idea but you have a, you at least have a right to comment on that subject when you don't even have the authority to comment on some subject don't so be very clear i am telling all my devotees and disciples and seekers around the world i am interested in fulfilling you honestly not in nobel prize not in any awards and social recognitions so i am not going to compromise or bend my teachings and ideologies i am not going to dilute it as western mental setup may expect to give their nobel prize to me no i am going to remain as authentic yogic vedic incarnation to transmit that experience to all of you so i invite seekers from around the world to gather around me and in my mystery schools satsang centers here we are simple humble people just learning and teaching spirituality and we do simple things like a teleporting materialization levitation kundalini awakening why don't you let you guys live with us 
live ourselves with our own ideology and philosophy. Let us live our Vedic truths and yogic life. Understand Samyama. It is expressing the extraordinary physical and mental powers in progression. You need to know thoroughly from what kind of a person you are learning these great truths. Only then you will understand how directly it helps. See, the secular idea is great in the political field, in the society. But that is not going to be an authentic, unique message in the spiritual field, in the religious realm. All right, even you establish, all religions are one and the same. All right, okay. But what is your contribution? Come on. What direct contribution you have? To the world only what authentically you experienced what authentically you are sharing with the world that is the only honest contribution when you don't have any unique contribution go around and divert the people's attention from one subject to another and people will think that is your contribution diverting people from one subject to another is not your contribution Come up with some creative contribution. Love is an empty word with which you can cheat anybody. What do they mean? Come on. Let them show their love. What do they mean? I don't understand. Creating peace between religion only will happen if you are honestly established in one religion and able to create peace to your own followers with a spiritual experience. When we don't have our own authentic contribution in any field, just go on doing politics. See all the there will not be any unique contribution from them. The whole world only, there are only two kinds of minds. One, which contributes creatively. Another one, which goes on meddling with people and tries to put some big identity. No. I'm not interested in any social game or political game or politics and religion and religion in politics. No. I am interested in honestly, beautifully, purely retaining the Yoga Vedantic tradition. The great spiritual mystical tradition I am going to dedicate my life to reproduce this experience on people reproduce these great powers on people and scientifically establish a step by step practical lifestyle where people can experience all these great experiences and powers of Samyama and express the great experiences and powers of Samyama to the world. So I request all our devotees and disciples to be aware and understand my motive and the work I am doing. If you can understand, be with me. 
So as Patanjali says, I'll teach you Samyama, experiencing and expressing the extraordinary experiences and powers from superconsciousness through your body and mind in progression. So I request all of you, devotees, disciples, satsangis, participants in our satsang centers, not to miss even a single instruction and go through the whole process intensely, sincerely in progression. I bless you all to live, achieve, experience, express, radiate and share the eternal bliss. Nityananda. Thank you.